Caitlin Clark has been officially named the 2024 WNBA Rookie of the Year, cementing her place as one of the most dynamic and transformative players in the league. Arriving with sky-high expectations after a legendary college career at Iowa, where she became the NCAA's all-time leading scorer, Clark was drafted to rejuvenate the struggling Indiana Fever franchise. Over the course of her rookie season, she exceeded those expectations, delivering a historic first-year campaign that not only broke records but helped guide the Fever back to the playoffs for the first time since 2016. Clark's inaugural season with the Fever, however, was not without its challenges. Indiana started the season with a disappointing 2-9 record, as Clark and the team faced the tough task of integrating new talent while navigating a challenging schedule. Clark, coming off a physically and emotionally taxing collegiate season that included a run to the NCAA championship game, had to adjust to the pace and physicality of the WNBA. She openly admitted that the start of the season was rough, something she joked about during the playoffs, but her ability to adapt and rise above the early struggles defined her rookie year. Despite the rocky beginning, Clark quickly found her stride and put together one of the most remarkable rookie seasons in league history. She averaged 19.2 points, 8.4 assists, and 5.7 rebounds per game over the regular season, becoming a crucial centerpiece for the Fever. Her 8.4 assists per game led the entire WNBA, earning her the league's peak performer award for assists. Clark's scoring was just as impressive, with her 19.2 points per game ranking 7th in the league. She shot 41.7% from the field and, despite some inconsistency from beyond the arc early in the season, maintained a remarkable 90.6% free throw shooting percentage. One of the most striking aspects of Clark's rookie year was her ability to not only keep pace with the league's veterans but to regularly surpass expectations. As the season progressed, she consistently delivered standout performances, breaking a multitude of records along the way. Clark set a new rookie single-season assists record, previously held by Ticha Penichero since 1998, and shattered the overall single-season assists record, which was set just a year earlier by Alyssa Thomas. By the Fever's final regular season home game, Clark had passed same one Augustus rookie scoring record, finishing the night with a career-high 35 points in a win over the Dallas Wings. Clark also showcased her versatility and playmaking ability, finishing the season with 12-point assist double-doubles. This achievement not only set a new rookie record but also tied her for ninth place on the WNBA's all-time list. Additionally, she recorded two triple-doubles in her rookie campaign, making her the first rookie in league history to accomplish that feat. Clark's ability to stuff the stat sheet on any given night demonstrated her rare talent and basketball IQ. The second half of the season is where Clark truly cemented her legacy as one of the best rookies in WNBA history. After a grueling start to the year, Clark reached a new level in late May, scoring 30 points for the first time. In June, she began dishing out double-digit assists regularly, orchestrating the Fever's offense with the poise of a seasoned veteran. Her breakout moment came in July, when Clark notched her first career triple-double in an upset victory over the New York Liberty, one of the top teams in the league. It was the first triple-double by a rookie in WNBA history, a milestone that highlighted her all-around impact on the game. The Fever entered the All-Star and Olympic break on a high, and Clark used the month-long pause to rest, recover, and build stronger chemistry with her teammates. The break served as a second, training camp, of sorts for the rookie in the fever, and when play resumed, they looked like a completely different team. Indiana went 9-5 after the break, surging into playoff contention. Clark's individual performances were nothing short of spectacular during this stretch. She averaged 24 points, 5.2 rebounds, and 8.5 assists per game in August, shooting an impressive 46.9% from the field, 37.3% from three-point range, and 93.8% from the free throw line. Her dominance earned her Eastern Conference Player of the Month honors for August, making her the first rookie in league history to win that award. Clark's momentum continued into September, where she recorded her second career triple-double and became the first rookie, and just the sixth player overall, to record 200 assists and 100 mid-three-pointers in a single season. By the end of the regular season, her impact on the game was so undeniable that she finished fourth in the WNBA MVP voting trailing only the league's elite, including eventual MVP Aja Wilson of the Las Vegas Aces. Clark's contributions didn't stop at individual accolades. She also helped lead the Fever back to the playoffs for the first time in eight years. Although the Fever were eliminated in the first round by the Connecticut Sun, Clark's role in getting them there was a major achievement. The rookie struggled with her shooting in the series, particularly after suffering an eye injury in Game 1 that affected her vision, but her overall body of work was a testament to her skill and leadership. Indiana's playoff run ended in a 93-69 loss, 
But Clark's impact on the franchise was already well established. Fever head coach Christy Sides was effusive in her praise of Clark before the playoffs, saying, Caitlin is special. Everybody knows that. She's been special. She came into the best league in the world, the best women's basketball league in the world. She found her footing. She's continued to get better. She's put herself in a position to be called one of the best players in this league. That's incredible for a rookie. Looking forward, the sky is the limit for Caitlin Clark. Her Rookie of the Year campaign has laid a foundation for what is sure to be a legendary career in the WNBA. Despite falling short of a championship in her first year, Clark's impact on the fever, and the league as a whole, cannot be overstated. With a year of experience under her belt, playoff exposure, and the ability to keep breaking records, Clark's journey to superstardom has only just begun. The fever, and the entire WNBA, will no doubt be watching closely as she continues to rise to new heights.